Now, we saw that the quantum numbers N and L and M, they define basically the, the distance, the, the shape and the orientation and the orientation of the of the orbitals right but but together they were not able to explain certain phenomena in multi electron atoms that is the phenomena of 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 closely spaced line spectrum closely spaced line spectrum okay which were at times doublets which were at times doublets that means there were two of them okay or triplets or, or triplets there were three of them that's all okay now it meant there was something else to them right there was something else to the electrons and and it was proposed by Ullenbeck and Godspent okay Ullenbeck Ullenbeck and Godspent that these the, the electrons that are showing the closely spaced spectra this the, the closely spe spaced spectra of two and three right they are kind of different in certain way okay now the first difference was that that their distance was maybe different and the shape was different and the orientation was different now there was nothing else on which we could distinguish them distinguish between them so what they proposed was that this electron, which, which is say something like that, okay, there should be certain distinction between this electron and say, say another electron. Now the only possible distinction that they could think of was, was if this electron is rotating like that, okay. And this electron kind of rotates like this. You understand? That means looking from up, okay, from here, if this is rotating like, like this. And, 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 and we, we see that in the rotational motion. Whenever, it is, whenever the rotation is like that, that means, that means if, you, if you point the, if you, if you, if you point the, thumb of your say right hand along this then then your fingers of the right hand hand they'll curl like that you understand okay so so what happens if your fingers the the, the right hand fingers right i've shown you two fingers that should be one will be curling here itself no the four fingers there middle is there the range is there and the little one is there. Uh, I hope I'm able to make some sense of it. It looks like a right hand that is that whose all the four fingers are curled around the they are curled around the, the direction okay which looking from up is counterclockwise then your right thumb will point in the direction of rotation that, that, that points in the direction of omega actually angular velocity or the torque but 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 you just just say that that it points up okay and they use that notation so so it is like the, the omega the angular velocity will be up similarly if you, if you do do the same thing there then you'll find that if your if your fingers curl towards the movement it has to be something like like this Okay, the knuckles here, okay, the knuckles here, and and you know the fingers are curled away from you, right? 
looking from up it has to be clockwise take your right right hand looking from up try to try to curl it this way so so they are curled like that you, you understand this is your little finger okay and, and, and the other finger is curled like that that is not visible to you it, it's behind that palm right the, the back of the hand and the thumb will will somehow point like that you see that these are the five knuckles and and kind of or, or, or you can say that the, that the fingers say i can show them going like this and curling like that okay and going like this and curling like that that makes some sense right so this they termed as as this okay so so this spin is this is up and this is down up and down okay and and they 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 said that this is spin up and this is up and down and numerically they assigned this a value of plus half and this as minus half plus half and minus half so a new quantum number came into being that began to be called the spin quantum number the spin quantum number and that explained for the slight difference those those doublets triplets that were coming in okay so they said they, there has to be something else the electrons have to be distinguished based on something else so a new quantum number came to be introduced and that was called the quantum number s so how many of these did we see till now we saw the principal quantum number n followed by the azimuthal l followed by the magnetic m followed by the spin s correct together they they'll be able to define all the electrons okay get that get that point so so n l m and s will define all the all the states that an electron can have okay now if that is the case let me now go back and start once again so this is n this is l this is m and i say this is s right now let us start so when n is equal to 1 what is the value of l it goes from 0 will go to only 0 magnetic quantum number will go to 0 now this will have two values s has two values plus half and minus half so how many electrons does it hold shell number 1 this is shell right shell this is sub shell right this is orbital and this is the the number of electrons in the orbital so in the first shell there is only one sub shell possible which is s so one s there is only one orientation so only one of it will be found and one s will contain two electrons so so how many number of electrons number of electrons that will be 2 in the first shell right how many number of orbitals number of orbitals first of all hold on number of orbitals is this number number of electrons is this so number of how many orbital only one right 1s 
as one orbital and how many electrons? Two. Now we come to two. L will take a value zero and one. So M corresponding will take a value this. This will correspond to 2s. This has got plus half and minus half. So how many orbitals here? One and how many electrons there? Two. Now this. This goes from minus one, goes to zero, goes to plus one. So, so each has plus half and minus half, right? Plus half, minus half. Plus half, minus half. Plus half, minus half. So what happens? The 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 second this is 2s, right? This is this is what? This is 2s. This is what? 2px, 2py, 2pz. So this orbital contains how much how many? 2 to 4 to 6. So total total how many orbitals? 3 orbitals. And how many electrons? 6. Each orbital has 2 electrons, right? So what is the total for the second shell? It is 8. What is the total for the for the what is the total for the first shell? It's 2. Right? Now we come to 3. Now 3, 0, 0, plus half, minus half. This is how many orbital? 1. How many electrons? 2. Correct? From here. 1, minus 1, 0, plus 1. Okay? So, so again the same thing. Plus half, minus half. I won't write. Okay? It's understood. So 2 here, 2 here, 2 here. How many here? How many orbitals here? 3. I'm sorry. 1, 1, 1. 3 orbitals here. How many electrons? 6. How many electrons? 6. Fine. Now come here. How about L is equal to 2? Because it goes from 0 to? 0 to? N minus 1, so 0, 1, 2. Now this takes a value. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is not this is not plus half. This is this is plus plus one, right? I'm sorry for that. This is plus one. Now this is minus two. This is minus one. This is zero. This is one. This is two. Okay, so, so this takes a value again, plus half, minus half, and this, and this, and this, and this. How many orbitals? 5. How many electrons? 10. So how many total? How many total for third shell? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How, how many total for third shell? 18. 18, fine. Now let us try to understand. How many orbitals total? In the first, you have n orbital. Okay, one orbital. Here you have four orbitals. Here, number of orbitals. I am talking about only the number of orbitals. That is four. Here it is one. The total number of orbitals here is how much? Nine. Now, you know, you go to the pure mathematics and, and just try to understand. Those, these are actually what? Since this is 1 and, and this is 1. So, and, and when this becomes 1, this becomes 12 plus 1, that is 3. When this becomes 2, this becomes 5. When it becomes 3, it will become 7. So, the number of orbitals is nothing but the sum of first n odd numbers, right? So sum of two odd numbers. What is the sum of odd numbers? You know, it is actually equal to n odd numbers equals n square. n odd numbers actually equals n square. So you see, you will find this to be, you, you, you will find this to be nothing but two square orbitals. This is one square orbitals. This is nothing but three square orbitals. Later, you will find it to be you see the trend? 1, 3, 5, and 7. Correct? So, so there will be 16 orbitals. That will be 
4 square. So you see that? Okay. This is this is 3. For, for n equal to 3, there, there are 3 square. When n becomes equal to 4, the number of orbitals becomes n square. So, so if it is n, I'm sorry for that. If it is n, then the number of orbitals is n square and each orbital holds 2 electrons. So it should become 2 into 4 square. This should become 2 into n square. And now I'd like you to, so this becomes 2 into 3 square. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, that is not 2 into 3 square. This is this which is 2 into 3 square. Okay, this, this is 2 into 3 square. This is 2 into 2 square. Now what? This is what we had been told that if the principal quantum number is n, the number of total electrons that it can hold is 2n square. Do you remember that? Yes. So now I add, I say that for any n, the number of orbitals, the number of orbitals is how much? n square and I know why. Why? Because they are the sum of first n natural numbers and the number of total electrons is equal to 2n square. That is equal to 2n square and hence that rule. Do we get that? The rule actually comes from here. Correct? Good. So in the in the sum, the, the conclusion, right? Let's let's draw the conclusion okay, of whatever we have done till now. What is the conclusion of that? So conclusion is is number one. The conclusion number one is that that n that n that n defines the shell, right? That n defines the shell, right? And the size, right? Distance and energy to a large extent. to a large extent. Okay? This is what we did. Then we come to QL. There are n number of subshells, right? Sub shells. In number of subshells and it defines the shape shape of the subshell and L goes from 0 to n minus 1 goes from 0 to n minus 1 And each of them, right? Each of them, they'll ha they'll have so so M defines the atomic orbitals, and how many of them are there? 
it, it first of all defines orientation orientation and has 2l plus 1 orbitals right 2l plus 1 orbitals for a given l there will be 2l plus 1 orbitals okay so for l is equal to 0 huh? so you have l is equal to 0 l is equal to 0 tell me how many 1 l is equal to 1 how many 3 l is equal to 2 how many 5 l is equal to 3 how many 7 right get that and it is the sum of these which which are giving you the total number of orbitals and multiplied by 2 is giving you the total number of electrons right and then there is a spin to account for so 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 electrons may have may have an up or a down spin okay many times a question comes why 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 not something like that if it is something like that it can be expressed as the combination of an up and down right so so not a combination of up and down but but it can be said to be this thing can be said to be the the preferred axis right they they tend to behave in the same manner so so either it is either if this is also clockwise or anti clockwise that is the orientation had had the orientation been different we would have observed more than doublets right more lines more than 3 4 5 7 lines 8 lines we do not do that or at times the lines would have been kind of something like that and then it would have changed something like that just because this changed but that never happened okay so it was the sense of rotation that was very important looking from up and looking from down okay so so that's why there was no distinction between them a and they have okay now this is many a times designated as ml right and that as this is this this is no, this is designated as ml right? that is designated as ml so this is l this is ml this is ml right and, and this is designated as ms spin okay ml ms n l m l m s fine this this defines the spin and these four together the the, the the four quantum numbers together give a unique address give a unique address to all the electrons to all the electrons understand so one of the electrons here you see see we did that this electron will have an address of what it will have okay this electron will be having n is equal to 1 l is equal to 0 m is equal to 0 and S is equal to half. 1, 0, 0, half. 1, 0, 0, minus half. 2, 0, 0, plus half. 2, 0, 0, minus half. 2, 1, 0, plus half. 2, 1, sorry. 2, 1, minus 1, plus half. 2, 1, minus 1, minus half. 2, 1, 0, half. 2, 1, 0, minus half. 2, 1, 1, plus half. 2, 1, 1, minus half. So, no two electron will have the same address. In the same that same set of same set of all the quantum numbers you see the uniqueness you can very well say I am talking about three zero zero plus half so you are talking about the third shell s s orbit s sub shell s orbital and and the the one of the up spins right 
we get that so each of them the address the each address becomes unique now we'll see how the shell what is the shape of the we'll now see what is the we'll now see what is the shape shape of these these orbitals right